In this lesson, we are going to prove using the principle of mathematical induction that for all n subset of natural numbers, 1 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 3 times 4 plus dot 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 up to n times into bracket n plus 1 equals n times into bracket n plus 1 times into bracket n plus 2 all divided by 3. Join me as we go through this step by step. Please remember to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments. Now let's see. We have the giving statement to be this. So we let this giving statement to be Pn and then put in n equal to 1. That will give us 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. So here 3 will divide 3. So we left 1 times 2. That is what we have here. Now, we assume that pk is true. Wow. Is true for some positive integers k. Then we substitute k into whatever we see n in this uh, equation. So if pk is true, then we sum from 1 times 2 up to k times k plus 1. So we put in k for n. And this is the result that we are going to get. Then, oh wow, here I was writing it, but um, I made a mistake. That's why I canceled. No problem. Uh, I don't want to waste people. That's why I didn't change it. But I think the idea is the most important thing. So let's continue. Now, if we assume that pk is true, then we are going to prove that pk plus 1 is also true whenever pk is true. So from that, we are going to sum from 1 times 2 up to k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1. So the reason why here is true is that we put n equals k plus 1. So if you put n equals k plus 1, then this will be k plus 1 plus 1. That is what we are getting here, k plus 2, right? In a very simple way. So you can see that from here, we've done this one. From 1 times 2 up to k times k plus 1 is equal to pk. And that is what we have here. So, in a very simple way, we replace the whole of this by k times k plus 1 times k plus 2 divided by 3 plus what we have here, k plus 1 times k plus 2. Now, we have to simplify this expression to get what we have here. Wow. So how do we do that in a very simple way? Now, you can see that here we have k plus 2 and here we have k plus 2. So if I factorize k plus 1 times k plus 2 out, this k plus 2, k plus 2, k plus 1, k plus 1, then you'll be left with k on 3 plus 1. Wow, and this is k plus 1 times k plus 2 times k plus 3 divided by 3 in a very simple way. Now, this is the same as k plus 1 times k plus 2 times k plus 3 all divided by 3. Now, it is solved. Now, let's look at what we have here. If we put in k plus 1 here, here will be k plus 1. And we have it here. This is our n, k plus 1. Let me use the pencil. This is our n. We've got in k plus 1 here. That is the n. Then here we have k plus 2. So, this one can be split into k plus 1 plus 1. Here, this will be the n, k plus 1. 
Wow, that's what we have here. If you put in k plus 1 here, this n will change to k plus 1. That is what we have here. And this n2 will change to k plus 1. That is what we have here. So k plus 3 can be written as k plus 1 plus 2. And this one will be our n. So at the end of the day, you see that each of the n here will be replaced by k plus 1, k plus 1, k plus 1. So you write k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 2 all divided by 3 in a very simple way. So by the principle of mathematical induction, Pn is 2 for all n subset of natural numbers. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments.